welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. So we're continuing Photoshop month over on every-tuesday.com and that's in celebration of my newest class, Intro to Photoshop in partnership with Brit & Co. So there's a link in the blog post over there or over on the blog, you can find it. And this week we're going to be creating a t-shirt mock-up from scratch in Photoshop. So what I mean by a mock-up file is that we have this one t-shirt and we can change it to any color. So I'll give you a short demo on this. So this is exactly what we're going to be creating. Say we don't want it to be a green shirt, we want it to be a light blue shirt. And maybe we want the logo to be more horizontal and maybe smaller and centered on the shirt. Let's see what that looks like. So maybe that's what we want. So in this tutorial, we're going to go over all the steps to making this possible, which is really a huge time saver if you've got a bunch of t-shirts and you don't want to photograph all of them. This is a quick way to kind of drag and drop all the designs on it and still have it looking super realistic. And if you're a fan of mock-ups, I just released a new um, mock-up kit. So these are rustic greeting card mock-ups. So if you're looking for some greeting card mock-ups, I just released this today. Um, so I'll leave a link in the video description for these guys. There's five of them. Um, but back to the t-shirt. So how we make this, I'm going to walk you step by step. The first thing you need is just a picture of a t-shirt. So this is just a picture of a, one of my t-shirts. So I'm going to delete my hard work to show you how this worked. And we're going to start from scratch. So all we have is a plain old flat image of a shirt. So the first thing we're going to do is just create a brand new layer down here and then we're going to grab our pen tool. So I'm going to hit P on my keyboard. If you're not super savvy with the pen tool, you can use the polygonal lasso tool for this. We're creating a selection or a work path uh, with the pen tool right now. So if you're more comfortable using that, by all means, that's perfectly fine. The pen tool allows you to get better curves and it's a more detailed selection, but it does take a little bit of knowledge about the pen tool. Uh, I'll walk you through some of the basics using the pen tool here. Um, but yeah, feel free to use the polygonal lasso if you're more comfortable there. So the important thing is when you grab the pen tool, make sure path is selected up here, not shape. So now that I've got path, I'm just going to click. And as you can see, I can click and drag and this extends my handles. And if I don't need my right handle as long, I can hold alt and reduce the size of my right handle. There's tons of resources online for learning how to use the pen tool. It definitely takes a little bit of time, but once you know how to use it and kind of how it operates, um, you can get m far more detailed outcomes with it. I'm holding spacebar whenever I need to move around my artboard, so that kind of takes me off the pen until I release the spacebar and then I come right back to the pen tool. So I'm just kind of going along the curves and the edges, and at this point in time, I'm gonna speed up this video so it's not crazy boring to watch me do this whole thing. So I'll speed it up and I will be right back. Okay, I just closed my work path right there and I've got the whole shirt outlined. You can kind of see the little line right there. So the next thing that I'm going to do is, you can see if I come over here to my layers palette and there's the paths, um, I've got my little work path right there and that's the important thing. So now on this first layer that we created at the beginning, we're just going to grab our rectangle tool and I'm just going to draw out a rectangle, a white rectangle. And next I'm gonna come over here and right click and choose convert to smart object. This part is really important so don't forget to do this. Once you have it as a smart object, now we're gonna free transform it. So command T or control T on a PC. We're gonna rotate it around to kind of match the angle of the shirt. And then we're going to scale it up, but we're gonna scale it proportionally. So make sure you're holding shift, click on a corner node and drag it out. And once again, just make sure you're scaling proportionally. So hold shift, click and drag, and just make sure your whole shirt is covered like mine is. And then I'm gonna hit return or enter. And now that we've got it covering, it looks kind of funny, um, but this is all gonna work out, I promise. So the next thing you're gonna do is create a mask right here. 
So we're just going to click on this little icon and a new mask will be created right here. Now we're going to come over to our paths and I'm going to hold command if you're on a Mac or hold control if you're on a PC. See how that little icon shows up when I hold command and then just click once. And now you can see it grab the selection that we created earlier with the pen tool. Next, we're going to come back over to our layers palette. Make sure this white box is selected and we're going to inverse our selection. So I'm going to hit command shift I and now everything but the shirt is selected because we've got these dancing ants around um, the rest of the artboard. And we're going to make sure that black is in the background right here and not the foreground. If it's in the foreground like this, just hit this arrow and it'll switch it to the background. And then you're, what you're going to do is hit Command Delete or Control Backspace. This might seem really confusing, but um, it's all about masking. And I have a full tutorial, which I will link to if this is really kind of over your head and you're a little intimidated about masking. It's not that scary. The important thing to know is that black conceals and white reveals. So what we wanted to do is just have the white filling in the shirt. So definitely reference that tutorial on masking and all of this will make more sense if you want to kind of break it up piece by piece. But okay, so now that we have all this selected still, all you have to do is hit Command D or Control D on a PC to deselect. And this is exactly what we want right now. And we're going to come over here to the shirt and we're going to change the blend mode to multiply. And when we do that, it looks like we're right back where we started, um, but we've done all the groundwork. So now we can go in and change the color of the shirt. We can put a design on it. We can do whatever we want now. So we can do that by coming over here to our smart object. This is indicative of a smart object whenever you see this little icon right here. So you're just going to double click on this part. Don't double click on your mask. Double click here. And when you do that, it's just letting you know you're going to open up a PSB file instead of a PSD. So I'm going to hit OK. You can see right up here it says PSB, and that's exactly what we want. And in order to change the color of the shirt, I'm just going to label this color of shirt. All you have to do is double click on here, and I like keeping it a little lighter, so I'm going to go to that light blue again and hit OK. And then I'm going to put um, my logo on the shirt like I did before. So I'm just an illustrator. I'm just going to grab my logo, copy, command C or control C on a PC, come back into Photoshop, command V or control V on a PC and paste it as a smart object, hit OK. And now we've got our logo in here. And this is kind of trial and error um, just because you can't get it exactly um, the outline of the shirt. So we're just going to place it right there. And then I'm going to hit Command S or Control S on a PC to save this PSB to commit the changes that we just made, the blue and the logo. And once it's saved, I'm going to close this. And as soon as I close it, it's going to appear on the shirt. So obviously I know that I need to bring my logo down. And in order to do that, all we have to do is double click on this again. You can see our design is kind of thrown in here now. So double click on that. It'll open back up and we're just going to drag the logo down a little further. Once again, you have to save it. If you just close it, it won't save it. So Command S or Control S on a PC to save and then close it. And there we go. Now it's perfectly laid out just the way that we need it. And we can go back in if we want to change the color of the shirt. Just double click on your color of the shirt layer and we can change it to maybe a lime green. Command S or Control S on a PC. Come back and now our shirt's green. So it's a really quick and handy way after you get the whole shirt kind of masked out that part's a little complicated, but everything else is super easy. So just rewatch the video, go back through, and kind of pause wherever you need to, and totally doable. So that's how to create a t-shirt mock-up in Photoshop with a design on it too. And if you're looking for more mock-ups, once again, my brand new product, uh, Five Rustic Greeting Card Mock-ups, is now available, and I'll leave a link once again in the video description if you'd like to check these out. So thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe. I release a new design tutorial every single Tuesday. And don't forget to head on over to my blog, every-tuesday.com, for even more design tutorials and a bunch of design freebies. And that Intro to Photoshop class will have a link over there as well. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next week.